Hey everyone, today we will cover a quick video on holding payments using Stripe. A lot of you ask online, how do you hold payments before paying the seller when a buyer has paid the platform or the seller? From a technical perspective, a, co a common word that is being used is called an escrow. How do you withhold funds from reaching the seller? when a buyer has purchased something. Um, and to precisely make sure we're clear on where we sit, Stripe actually says escrow has a precise definition and does not provide escrow services or support escrow accounts. However, you can control payment timing through manual payout, which will allow you to delay payment payouts to certain accounts. When using manual payouts, you must pay out the fund within the time frame for the business country, which is stated here. So in essence, it means that when you're using manual payout, a buyer through on Stripe Connect pays the platform and the platform gets a cut through a, gets a cut and then goes to seller account. So I drew a quick diagram based on what I just said. So the, when you're using a manual payout, the flow of fund basically occurs. The buyer's fund are transferred to the seller's account when um, a transaction is initiated through Stripe Connect. Depending on what charge type you're using, for example, direct charge, destination charge, or separate charges transfer, mainly these two, when you're using Stripe Connect direct charges, which firstly, um, customer basically funds, go straight to the seller account, and then the seller pays you a Stripe application fee. While the destination charge is basically the buyer transaction to the platform and the platform immediately pays a seller um, the respective amount that needs to be transferred to the seller account. Major highlight for using manual payout is that the funds are held here in the seller's account to be paid to the external account. For example, external account is the bank account where they might be holding in their country. Just to recap, when you're using the manual payout, the funds are held here, still on Stripe's platform and not paid to the external account. The other method to uh, do kind of like a holding fund escrow use case is where the buyer is creating separate charges and transfer. So this is when the buyer pays you, i.e. the platform, and the platform holds the fund here until, for example, a certain condition is met, then the funds are transferred to the seller. Here, you're running a marketplace and the service is that they need to maintain, do some kind of service, whether, whether it's Upwork, for example, they have to create a um, document where the seller has to create a document for the buyer. So here, the buyer purchases the service, but the buyer pays you, the platform, $10. And then you wait until the buyer confirms that the seller has delivered that document. And then you, the platform pays the seller the remaining amount net of the fee you want to charge the seller, for example, a dollar. Therefore, the platform pays the seller $9. So this is how separate charges and transfer works. In this tutorial, I'll cover both on how you can use manual payout and separate charges and transfer to make sure you understand the different types of possibility out there while using Stripe. So I'll cover manual payout first. Let's get started. Before I go deeper, this session requires a bit of understanding on how, how you can use Stripe Connect on Flutterflow. And I have quite a few videos on it already, which I'll link below. Um, so this will require, this will skip a lot of the onboarding process regarding creating a Stripe Connect account and um, that can, connecting that account to your platform, because we'll just go straight to using um, how to set up the manual payout component. So if you recall from the previous lessons on Stripe Connect, firstly, we set up and we create that account and then we link that account to the platform. And then we create a checkout session to get that account paid in a transaction. The major key highlight we have to change in the API core is one extra parameter. And it is the settings payout schedule interval parameter should be set to manual. So this means that 
per Stripe's documentation, you can see here, the payout a API only moves the fund from the connected at Stripe's account balance to the external account when the platform, you as a platform tells it to. So let's test this out. So here I've already created a transaction that pays a test account where payout is set to manual. So here the transaction is subtotal is $10 and the platform takes the application fee amount, meaning the platform takes $1 out of the $10 that gets uh, sold. So for example, if you're selling a service for $10, the platform will take $1 here. So let's initiate this transaction and make a payment. Let's just do test at test.com and we use this card number. And then let the payment process. You can see here, we just made a transfer uh, payment of $9, well, technically $10, but here the application fee is a dollar back to the platform. And this money is readily available to be paid out, but the connected account cannot make that payout to the external account. So how do you initiate that transfer? So let's say the um, transaction has been successful between the buyer and seller where the seller has delivered its services or goods and you as a platform now want the seller to get their money in the bank account. So how do you do this? So based on Stripe's documentation, you use the payout API here where you provide the Stripe connected account ID in the header, the amount and the currency. So it is quite basic. I won't go through um, the visual component of it in Flutterflow, but the API is basically you simply provide the Stripe account ID and the parameter you've got to create um, is you need amount and a currency. And then when you press send, i.e. requesting it, you'll get a once from Stripe. And of course you can save the ID of the payout. So when we jump back to the connected ac account on Stripe, you can see here that the $9 has been, the $9 payout has been transferred. And when you click into the detail of it, you can see here, payout was initiated manually and then it's currently in transit and then completed to the Stripe test, to the external test bank account. So to recap, manual payout is when the funds are held in the seller's Stripe account yet to be paid out to an external account. You as a platform will need to decide when the funds that are held on Stripe gets paid out to the external bank account. For example, when the seller has satisfied a condition will now cover separate charges transfer. So if we use the same example here, what happens here is that the buyer pays the platform $10 and the funds are held here. And then when the seller has met a certain condition, for example, they have provided the goods or service, you as a platform will use the transfer API to transfer $9 to the seller's account. The funds are not held in the seller's account the funds are held on the platform. And then when the money is transferred to the seller account, they can do whatever with it. They can let it sit on Stripe for a long time, or they can withdraw it, i.e. pay it out directly to the bank account immediately if they want. So how do you build the first leg and then the second leg? Let's talk about the first leg first. You can easily build the first leg by using Flutterflow's Stripe integration, where it pops up the banner to make the Stripe checkout. This is nice because you don't need to make an API call or navigate to external Stripe or build any custom widgets to allow the mobile app to show a checkout screen. So this is quite nice. So what it looks like if you look at Flutterflow's documentation is that it will pop up this and then you can make that payment. So I won't cover this because there's a lot of documentation here provided by Flutterflow already on integrating that first leg journey of that $10. The second leg is that the money will now go to you as a platform. So how do you transfer this money of $9 to the seller account? If we simply look at the documentation of creating transfer, you can see here is quite basic. You all actually only need three parameters, the amount, the currency and destination. So if I just go to Postman again, and then go to the transfer API call, you can see here, I can change the body. 
So all you're gonna do is enter the parameter. So if I transfer $9, similar to use previous use case, in currency of AUD and the destination of that connected Stripe account, I send it, it's successful. And then if I go to that account, Stripe account, you can see here, a new transaction for $9 has occurred. A transfer between our platform and the connected account. If we go back to the diagram, this is exactly what just happened then. The platform holds the money and then it transfers $9 to seller when a condition is met. One thing I like to note is that the platform must have a $9 available, available balance before making this transfer. If you're making a transfer greater than the available balance of your platform, Stripe would deny the transfer. So let's just say I'm transferring $8,000. You can see here, it says insufficient balance. Basically, you need more than $71.78 to make this transfer. So that's a major requirement. When you are using the separate charges and transfer mechanism versus the manual payout mechanism. I hope you learn about the possibilities of implementing the so-called escrow funds methodology between the buyer, the platform, and the seller. Remember to comment, like, or subscribe for more content on Flutterflow.